In the heart of the Great Lakes Bay region, welcome back to Spirit Rising. Go Great Lakes Bay's exclusive look at the quest for the Memorial Cup. This episode chronicles the Spirit's journey, hitting the road to Mississauga and Oshawa, drawing closer to the hometown of Spirit head coach Chris Lazary. Delve into his unique path, unveiling the inspiring story behind his pivotal role in steering the team. Facing early season hurdles, the Spirit battled fiercely, navigating a challenging path that momentarily sees them at the bottom of the OHL standings. Discover more about Michael Misa, the exceptional status forward, as he welcomes his brother Luke of the Mississauga Steelheads. In the face of adversity, the Spirit showcase unwavering resilience. Their dedication in practice and a united front culminate in the pivotal moment, a turning point in their season. Chris Lazary's hockey journey traces back to his roots in Whitby, Ontario. At just 15, a revered local coach planted a seed in his mind, igniting the dream of someday coaching the sport he loves. I first came into contact uh, with Laz when he was 15 years old. In Whitby, Ontario, it was a minor midget team, AAA. Throughout the year, I, I, I really saw that, you know, uh, he had a great hockey IQ, and, and just this love of the game. I'll be honest, like that year I played for Branchy is the reason why I wanted to work in hockey. I think I got to be around a guy like him who is an icon in the game, but is an unbelievable man, and an unbelievable leader, and provided structure and, and gave me goals and dreams. And seeing a guy like him have his life in hockey and what he had from the game of hockey, it's something I decided that I wanted to do as well. So when I, I see, you know, going forward here, his coaching, and I followed him up through the ranks, uh, I wasn't surprised at all. Uh, he, uh, he was a great team player and a great teammate, a joy to coach. Started minor hockey in Whippy and then did minor hockey in, in the city for the Toronto Marlies and then got into the tier two level at St. Mike's, the university level at York, and then I went to the junior B level in Waterloo before finally getting an opportunity in the OHL. He joined the Sarnia Sting coaching staff for two seasons before his pivotal move to the Saginaw Spirit. I remember the interview with Laz and how prepped he was uh, when he came in for that interview and he brought all this video in and when Chris Lazary talks about hockey, I've been in the room when we've got a prospect and he's talking X's and O's, I mean he, he makes me want to be a hockey player, he's got so much passion for the game. On November 18th, 2018, Lazary stepped into the role of head coach for the Spirit, marking a significant turning point for the organization. I'm excited about it. I think we've got a very good team. I think a couple changes to our team are going to help our style of play, and uh, Dave's trusting me to do that, and that's the job I have to do. Just his work ethic, his attention to detail, the amount of video work and skill work he puts into this team, like it, it's phenomenal to watch him. He, he's a born coach. It's what he does, um, and he's a lead at it. With an impressive 3-1 and one record to begin the regular season, the Spirit brace for a road challenge against the Eastern Conference. Let's go. Okay, we're obviously here, we got back-to-back -back games, they're big games for us. There's a lot of little details in, in this stuff here, whether it's offense or defense, that we need to put in our game to become the best team. Okay, we've got to see that here tonight. That's it. Just four days prior, Spirit GM Dave Drinkle completed a trade with the Sarnia Sting to acquire goaltender Nolan Lalonde. And they only solidify that goaltending further this week by acquiring Nolan Lalonde in a three-team trade uh, coming all the way from Erie. Uh, to this squad. He'll make the start tonight, his first one for Saginaw, and it will be his 100th in the Ontario Hockey League. To acquire Nolan, I think it was a no-brainer for us to bring him in, an NHL science player, a player that's been um, at NHL camps, played NHL preseason games. It was unexpected, but I mean, for me, it's just, it's a, it's a new start, and it's obviously an organization that they've put a lot of value into winning, and then also into developing their guys. So for me, it was just, it was amazing to come in here and kind of see how they run things and see how they even just practices and stuff like that. Like the intensity and the level of compete here is awesome. You know, he's been great, great around the room, goes about his business. Him and Oki have become really tight and they push each other. And I think you need a 1A, 1B when you're going into battle. New goaltender gets the start for you here tonight, Nolan Lalonde. It's his 100th game in this Ontario Hockey League. Um, what can you say about him in the very limited time that you've known him and got to see him on the ice a little bit? 
Well, super good kid, like really, I'm one of those guys that you're around that's just full of energy. Like I like talking to him, he's always smiling, he's, he's excited, he's Mr. Positive, which is good. It's a good opportunity to play in a really unique and one of the better rinks in the league in front of his family. His first, his first start for us on the road, so uh, looking forward to watching him play and just excited to see what he can do. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome! And you mentioned earlier guys playing really close to home. It's a similar situation for yourself. Is that always a, a, a unique opportunity, a special experience for you coming into this building? Well, it's good, like just driving around town, like it's where you grew up, so just a lot of memories. Rip out the cat from the cat box. It's also a player's technical rescue team from Wrestling Truck 25, led by Captain Apple Orange. And oh, wow. I have a couple okay players up in the banners. Good ones. I got to watch 88, 27, 91. Like, I'm a huge Jenny's fan to this day. Like, if, if we're not going to win in this league, I'd love to see them win type thing. Like, I grew up a massive Oshawa General fan, going to games on Sunday night, and still some of my fondest memories of sitting there watching games and wanting to coach or work in the league. And I can specifically have vivid memories watching there. Comfy Alignan stands in against Sapaval of Rubric and Seneca on his wings. The Spirit win the opening draw. Looking to keep things in the offensive zone. A turnover in front. Joey Willis tries to put one in front. A great save by Jacob Oster with the right pad. Hey, if we're not sure, hey, lay pucks to areas we can get on it. Don't get stuck. Let's not get stuck. Luca D'Amato around the net, finds Stewart, it was onto his backhand, now he's still scoring! It is 1-0, 16-42, left in this first period. If that guy's getting small, weight shift to the outside and then come around, yeah. Good, good forecheck, you can go there because you can get that puck, that's fine. Angle him, angle him! Stanford, near side, Morelli in front of Aiden Young, shot towards the goal, deflected, goes in! Watching pucks, not defending off puck. We gotta defend off puck, don't be the guy that's watching, be the guy that's working. After the first 20 minutes in Oshawa, the Generals lead 2-0. The head coach recognizes the team's identity resides in the dressing room, but it's yet to materialize on the ice. What I asked for at the start of the game, more what? More shots. We got Dina rolling, he's coming across the ice logo, we have traffic at the net, but we need here as a group to start listening and take some steps. We're in our fifth game, we have yet to get our identity all the time, it's in the room let's do it this is a good start though it's all off a play pass ready to go here in the second period whatever the conversation was it appears to have worked so far the return pass up for the spirit center mcnamara drops it at the line for lincoln moore right side long shot deflected on its way rebound they score valentine zugan oh oster left a rebound right on the blue paint good shot selection way to go pat right we shoot to create good stuff happens hunt that one eight hunt that and he starts out again from the saginaw end Hate's gonna spring Zugan here on a breakaway shot, save, rebound, he scores! Valentin Zugan, second of the game, fresh from the bench. Okay, stops on deck, there we go! Valentin Zugan's two goals move the Spirit right back into contention, narrowing the gap to one goal as they enter the third period. Back inside the Tribute Community Center one more time during regulation tonight, third period about to get underway. The Spirit trail the Oshawa Generals, three to two. Talk, 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 talk. Let them know where you are for playing. Robrick turning towards the net. The opportunity and rebound came out. Darius Dunn scores! At the blue line, far side, near side, Willis into the middle, back to Parak. Parak, Mangoni near circle. His shot gets blocked. Kumpalainen scores! And with nine seconds to go in the third, the Generals are going to win it but Saginaw isn't able to recover from three third period goals by the Generals in a 6-4 loss that drops their record to 3-2. And, and that's the end of this one. 4-3 is the final score. The Spirit dropped two in a row for the first time this season. Road losses in Oshawa and Mississauga begin a tough stretch in which the Spirit lose seven times in eight games. Next, we delve into a grueling week of practice. Yeah, let's get that puck, let's get buzzing. Where the Spirit unite and dig deep to break free from their slump. The OHL and Saginaw Spirit invite you to Saginaw, Michigan for the 2024 Memorial Cup. You won't want to miss a moment of this event where hockey crosses new borders. Following road defeats in Oshawa and Mississauga, the Spirit grapple with a challenging slump. General Manager Dave Drinkle orchestrates a significant move, 
marking his first major acquisition of the regular season. The Spirits send six draft picks to the in-state rival Flint Firebirds in exchange for Tampa Bay Lightning prospect Ethan Hay. His arrival significantly bolsters the center depth of the Memorial Cup hosts. Yeah, I think the Ethan Hay, after last year's playoffs, the way our guys talked about him, how hard he was to, to play against, how competitive he is, how good he is in the faceoffs and penalty killers, and I guess such a good penalty killer, I think he was always a target. I saw a great opportunity here uh, with a lot of amazing people, so I wanted to take that and, you know, getting to wear this uh, logo on my chest now, I'm super proud for sure. I think when you're acquiring and you're building a team and trying to put the puzzle pieces together, I think a lot of times mistakes are made. You just go after the best goal scorers, the best, and just try to put them all together and hopefully it all works. To me, we're trying to build a team. So there's a lot of things that we really liked in Ethan and his game and and, we're, and the leadership qualities are through the roof as well. You know, he's a leader in Flint and he'll be a leader here. So very, very happy to have him as part of this group. We're building for the Memorial Cup and we're built for the Memorial Cup. So, you know, um, like we got the strength to do it. We just got to, you know, dial in a couple things and uh, address the issues that need to be fixed and, you know, we're going to start climbing that mountain. Gathering at the Dow Event Center, the team prepares for an intensive week of practice, gearing up for an important two-game homestand against the Erie Otters and Mississauga Steelheads. We want to make sure we're spending less time in our zone. That's the easiest thing to do is just get breakouts. Get them clean, get them out quick, and we're good. And then we have to try to find a way to score more goals. And one of the things analytically is coming out of your own zone with possession, with speed, with numbers to get in so we're not chipping pucks because I think we're chipping way too many pucks. So how do we turn it into possessions and how do we turn those into goals or ozones? It starts right there. So we're doing our breakouts today. Let's be sharp on them. Let's work our command. Let's work our options. Let's be quick on our touches. Let's trust it. And let's carry that into tomorrow night. So we can break out against Erie like they're going to be in one. And that's the key. Good? Yeah. Everybody knows the drill. We're all good? Who doesn't know the drill? Okay, go to the back of the line. You'll figure it out. You're a smart kid. Nice. Good job. Good job. Good breakouts. We're struggling to score goals, every puck goes in the net. Even if the goalie's not working, just make sure it hits the back of the net, feel good when you leave. Real good two days, right? Like a huge, tough day yesterday, but the response has been nothing but positive. You just gotta carry it in. It's a new day for everybody. We're excited tomorrow, you get one win, every, you feel like you're the best team in the league. Just takes one, right? We got it going. Good job. Just amazing to watch this group, how they've been able to, the leadership group, knock on my door and, and set a meeting with me to say hey we're going to take the leadership group out we're going to go for dinner as a group we've had a couple uh team meetings and we've all decided to to but really buy in now take everything really seriously it's a blessing and a curse with the memorial cup because it comes with this pressure that's not real real but it's there i think we all believe that's the most important thing i think believing in our group and believing the that we have the capability of coming out on top at the end of the day so that's what we're gonna do The OHL and Saginaw Spirit invite you to Saginaw, Michigan for the 2024 Memorial Cup. You won't want to miss a moment of this event where hockey crosses new borders. These upcoming matchups hold personal significance for Michael Misa. Facing the Otters means a reunion with longtime teammate and close friend Malcolm Spence, who now leads the Erie squad. He's still a great friend to me and uh, I see him as one of my best friends. So. I'm always in contact with him. He actually texted me earlier, he's telling me he's coming down. Maybe we might grab a bite to dinner at dinner tonight. So obviously, you want to hold something above the other one, and I think I can speak for Mikey and say that uh, we obviously, whenever we play each other, want to beat each other. But off the ice, we're just we're just best friends. So um, it's nice to kind of get to go through this with him as well. Yeah, I mean, it's always fun when you uh, play one of your close buddies, especially seeing like how far you both made it in hockey yes, in the OHL. Is it's uh, it's pretty cool to see. So yeah, it should be fun tomorrow. They're building something special for the Mem Cup run this year, so toodles to them, but uh, we're coming in to take a win here, so. Spence and Misa, former teammates and line mates who clinched the OHL Cup as champions with the Mississauga Senators, prepare to square off as the Otters venture to Saginaw, Michigan to take on the Spirit. Game day for the Saginaw Spirit. They play at home the Dow Vent Center. 705 is puck drop. Ending a losing streak isn't easy, but the Spirit are determined that a resolute week of practice will translate to on-ice success. Mark Saginaw back at home, a rare Thursday night contest here at the Dow Event Center. They host the Erie Otters. Both these teams looking to bounce back off of difficult weekends. Okay, so look, we talked about it. It's been a good week for us. The response has been great. 
we're in a great spot here as a team. The reminder is we're going to get rewarded for doing good through hands, structure stuff, taking pucks to the net. We're doing positive plays, you keep getting shifts. Saginaw getting set to take on the Erie Honors. A couple of teams looking to raise the standard here as they enter a new month. It is November as the Saginaw Spirit and the Erie Honors come together for the first time. All right! As we'll get set to go here on this Thursday night contest. And these two teams go head to head here tonight. Pucks down or underway. Thanks for being with us, everybody. So a bright spot for Saginaw. As off the draw, it's Zane Perrette. Center point, and he scores! First goal of the game. Always important. Maybe no more than tonight. Zane Perrette gets the spirit up 1 0. The hard work pays off early as 2024 NHL draft prospect Zane Perrette unleashes a powerful shot to give the spirit a strong start. However, the Otters respond with two goals, courtesy of Chicago Blackhawks prospect Martin Mishiak. Johnson, a long DDD pass for Brissett, right in front, they score! Power play goal and second goal tonight for Martin Mishiak. We've got a tie game, just under four minutes to go. For a 3-2 lead at the close of an intense first period. Like This is not a team that's desperate to win. It's just not, guys. We're not playing bad, we're doing a lot of good things, but it's that Dog mentality gets missed, and you gotta get it. Yep. Two goal lead against Saginaw. Here's a chance in front. Valenti Jugan. Oh, alone, and he scores on the rebound. Sova, high slot, moving over right wing side. They score. Hats off, Martin Mishiak. Doesn't have a great angle. Drops it off. Ethan Hay in the circle. Hesitates towards the net. Save goes to the rebound. He scores. Ethan Hay. Spirit back within one again. It's five to four. In a closely contested middle frame, both teams tally two goals each maintaining the Erie Otters 5-4 advantage as they head into the second intermission. Near side, Davio, return pass, Sova. Shot deflected in, they score, Sam Alfano. Right on the doorstep, it's a power play goal. Otters captain Spencer Sova finishes the job for Erie as they skate off victorious and extend the spirit losing streak. Just walked by the room there, it looks like you just lost a game seven. There's Guys are feeling it. We just got a battle. We're in it as a group here. Like uh, We got a battle. We got to find a way to just come out, play the first five minutes good and build off that against Mississauga, who's a really good team. Coming up, brothers Luke and Michael Misa prepare to clash on the ice as the Spirit aim to overcome their struggles in a spirited showdown against the Steelheads. The OHL and Saginaw Spirit invite you to Saginaw, Michigan for the 2024 Memorial Cup. You won't want to miss a moment of this event where hockey crosses new borders. On November 3rd in Saginaw, Michigan, the stage is set for the Spirit, who reside at the bottom of both the Western Conference and the league standings. The path gets no easier as the Mississauga Steelheads come to town. Adding to the intrigue is 2024 NHL draft prospect Luke Misa. Luke and Michael Misa are two birth and school years apart, but are separated by just 14 months and one NHL draft class. When we were younger, my dad would always build a, a backyard rink in our backyard, and it was uh, we'd use it throughout the winter, and we'd always kind of play together and playing in the backyard uh, on the pond during the winters. And Christmas was uh, definitely one of our main memories. I, I talked to him about hockey, talked to him about other stuff, but keep in touch with him every day. It's uh, it's good to have someone by my side I can talk to at any time and get advice from. So yeah, it's yeah, I'm uh, I'm really happy for him this year and I'm excited to play him. We we, we don't play each other too often because we're in different conferences, but. Every time we do, we, it's a, a game we always look forward to and not just us, but our whole family, like our whole family always comes there and uh, yeah, it's always an exciting game for both of us. Two brothers sharing a love for the sport now face off on the ice as they pursue their dreams in the world of hockey. The more I've thought about it, you sit there as a coach, how can you get group out of it? What is the message? The message here is not to just play a simple man's game. Because that is not our identity, it never there's no nervousness in this group. It can't get any worse. So playing simple is not going to make it better. 
Folding fight. We're going to fight. We're a team that's going to get a win tonight. I mean, it's a tough challenge when you got the top team in the Ontario Hockey League coming into the building in the midst of it, but it's a Friday night between the Steelheads and the Saginaw Spirit here from the Dow Event Center. The first place Steelheads start hot, scoring not just once, but twice in the opening five minutes. Breakout pass. Here's a chance. Angus McDonnell in towards the net, and he scores. Angus McDonnell. And take a 2 0 lead into the intermission. This is the type of game that you win. Turns your Season round. Final. Final one with a one-timer. Correct top of the zone. One more chance. Long shot. Good save. Rebound. Scores. Is. Michael Misa. That one will count. It's a power play goal, and the Spirit are on the board. Mike strikes for the Spirit, cutting the Steelhead lead in half, and the Spirit aren't done. Pushes him off. Locust from the right wing corner has Ethan Hay. A shot goes off a leg. Locust tries to wrap it hey. in front of Tits, and they score. Gervais. Two goals in 40 seconds. Tie game here in Saginaw. He turns the Jets on down the left wing. A jump in the step of the Spirit. Here's a chance, Joey Willis to the goal is shot. They score! Three unanswered PJ for Joey! Valentin Jugan back and across. Here's Mancini, long point shot, save made, Leanders and does it go in? It does, they score! Two second period goals for Michael Misa have the game tied 4-4, headed into the third period. Back inside the Dow Event Center, getting set to go, third period action. Spirit trying to take down the top team in the OHL's Eastern Conference, Ethan Hay starts out yet again. Sees it dart around in a chance. Mangoni in front of shot. He scores! Right. What a goal! Caleb Mangoni breaks the deadlock. 5-4 with 13.55 to go in the third. Sapavala return pass to him. Center point correct. Hay again. Down the right side. Puts it in front of there shot. They score! Sapavala right on the doorstep. Breathing room for the spirit on the power play. Six to four. Lofted back in. Misa and Hassett swings out in front. Great oh, oh, save oh. by Lalonde, a game saver. He punches out the McDonnell shot. That puck hasn't moved. This is Saga infuriated. And that's going to hang on. The Spirit run out the clock and they hang on a 6 5 win over the top team in the Ontario Hockey League. We'll snap the four game skid. A huge win for the Spirit as Michael Misa is named first star with his brother Luke receiving second star honors. The victory against Mississauga is the first step in what becomes a one, two. Well, the Saginaw Spirit pick up the win here. Three, four. As the horn sounds, the Spirit will make it four straight. Five. And the Saginaw Spirit will win it. Six. The Spirit steal a heartbreaker. Seven. And the Saginaw Spirit have won seven games in a row. Eight. So the Spirit ride a five goal first period to a win. Nine. The Saginaw Spirit have won nine consecutive hockey games. It started back on November the 3rd in this building. A 6-5 win over the Mississauga Steelheads. And at that point, Saginaw was out of the playoff picture. They were 4-7-0-1. But since then, they've rattled off a franchise record. 10 consecutive victories. 6-2 right now over the Niagara Ice Dogs. A good indication that the season opening struggles can be overcome. Next time on Spirit Rising, the holiday season is here. Yeah, no, we have a lot of traditions. Uh, the Secret Santa one's one of my favorite, though. Fresh faces join the team, while new challenges arrive as players head away for the World Junior Hockey Championship. Rivalry games against Flint and Sarnia loom, adding intensity before the first half concludes with a home game against the Sudbury Wolves. Knocked into the care of Misa, now Hasse shoots and scores! The captain's on the board again, Braden Hasse! A true test to measure the Spirit's progress.